Are we dead? No sense in luck. We gotta go. It's through here. These clowns were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Crotch of Prado, the black badge. Right-wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday, or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? that server back online. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone? Come on, don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless. But I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The, the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hey? I just... I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. So. Wish I could say the same thing. Mm -hmm. Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance.
Fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. We should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. Right, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. The security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building, for what that was worth. Hmm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they had the common touch. Poor girl was dead, shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time.
looked like we'd seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senor Branco, open up! I'm going to try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew there was another way in upstairs for the helipad, the little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 Of course, he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? <laughs> 